let's say I have a detail like this and this is model normally and I want this to bend across a surface like this. So I want this to flawlessly curve around the surface. So what I might try is use the curve modifier or use the lattice modifier or any other modifiers to try and match it to the surface but the result is not going to be perfect. So let me just show you the end result of the technique we are using today. Let me just disable these and here. Here I have the same detail object curving around the surface inside an insert and it is curving flawlessly across both directions. So had you just used a curve object to deform this then it would have only deformed in this direction. But as you can see here this is deforming very gently around all, the, all of the surface and this is really good. So in order to bend an object like this, you need to make sure that the detail object has enough geometry so that it can preserve its safe no matter how it is deformed. So let me just disable these and let's see the original object. And let me isolate this and go into edit mode. So see that it has got enough geometry to support any way it bends. So the per perfect and ideal way would be to model this in sub modeling and give it enough geo. But you can also try slicing the mesh with, with a cube that is subdivided a lot of times. Or if you have a tool like hard ops, you can do a mesh tools and do a dice. So this will do the equivalent of projecting and a subdivided cube, knife projecting a subdivided cube. And if I click this and go into edit mode, it looks horrible, but I don't need to do this here because this is, this already has enough geometry to support the deformation. So I'm going to undo it. Okay. All right. Now that we know the effect we're after, we can we can try to do this. So select the object and snap the cursor to the selected object. So use the shift task menu and if you don't have this spy menu, this is from the machine tools add-on and I've put a link in the description below. It's a free add-on and it does a couple of great things. And so after I've snapped this cursor to the object. I'm going to add a plane and tab into edit mode and scale it along the y-axis so that it fully covers the span of this detail. And I'm going to subdivide it so that this deforms properly. And you should make sure that this plane sits at the middle halfway between the vertical vertical dimension so it can deform properly and I select the object and shift select the plane and then parent it so that if I move this by chance then it 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 is also going to move and now I select the detail object and then add a modifier and then select the surface deform modifier and then choose the plane as the target and hit on bind. So now we can select the plane and then we can add a swing wrap modifier and then select the sphere as the target. So now you can see that this is deforming smoothly around the surface and then we we don't have to worry about anything else.
you can just disable the visibility of this plane and then you can go to the object properties and then you can uncheck the show and render so that it doesn't show up in renders or you can you can just apply this and then just bake in the details and that is it you can add as many detail as you like with this procedure